episode of Coco's Kitchen. Before we get started, could you please like and subscribe? Okay, let's get right into it. Today, we're going to be making squash casserole. For this recipe, you can use four to five squash, but today we're using four. You need cheddar jack cheese, a pack of yellow cornbread mix, chopped onions, cream of chicken, black pepper, ground sage, salt, and some butter spray. And we're using the eight by eight inch pan, but you can also use the nine by 13. So when I come back, we'll be rinsing off the squash and cutting them up. Okay, I'm gonna start cutting this um, squash up. Now, before we get started, make sure you don't peel the squash and we're gonna cut it, at least try to cut it into one inch slices. And also, if you use a, a whole regular onion, make sure you try to dice it. So let's get started. I'm not gonna do a whole one, I'm just gonna do a couple of slices so you can kind of get the idea. But all you're gonna do is just go through all of them and cut them. Hopefully this is about one inch, I'm not sure, but something like this. And I'll be You're gonna add one cup of water and you're gonna bring it to a ball. So we're going to start adding the squash and you're going to put the squash and the onion in here. So I'm going to start putting the squash in here and you make sure once you add all your squash and the onion, you cover it with a lid and then you're going to let it boil for seven minutes. So when I come back, let me put some onion in here because I got to put the rest of the squash. But when I come back, we'll go to the next step. Okay, we're going to check on the squash now for the squash once you add them it takes about seven minutes but if seven minutes not long enough because you want them to be soft so i rotated them and stirred them in and i'm gonna come back but we want them to be um soft so if they're still hard then they're not ready so i'm gonna come back in about two or three more minutes and check on them but i just wanted to show you what they're okay, looking while like we're waiting on the squash since it needs some additional time we're going to start making the cornbread. Now, I forgot to add that we needed milk and eggs, too, for the cornbread. So when I was showing the ingredients, I forgot the milk and eggs. So you just follow the, the directions on the back of the cornbread. And you only need one pack of cornbread mix for this particular recipe. If you're using four to five squash about the same size I have, you just need one pack. So you're just basically following the directions. And then I'm going to mix it up and then I'm going to check my squash and I'll be right back. I finished mixing the cornbread mix, which you just follow, follow the directions on the back of the cornbread mix. The squash is finally ready. So what you're gonna do next is get the squash and pour it off inside of here after you drained it. So we're gonna pour the squash off in here. Just make sure you um, drain the squash as good as you, you know, get all the water out. And this too is a vegan uh, meal, a vegetarian meal. I'm not vegan, I meant to say vegetarian. And it's really good. It kind of reminds you of dressing. Because if you really don't like squash, I, it, when, every time I taste it, it just reminds me like I'm eating some dressing. So then we're going to add the cream of chicken. I have a half a teaspoon of salt. A teaspoon of sage and you just need a dash of black pepper maybe that's a big dash and you're just okay, gonna add it everything and now all we're gonna do is mix it in real good so I'm going to mix it in and keep mixing it and when I come back I'm gonna be spraying the pan and putting it getting ready to put it in the oven but I need to mix this in real good but you just combine it all together and mix it up real good and then I'll be right there. Spray the pan with the butter spray, but you're supposed to use olive oil. And 
And remember, you can use the 9 by 13 little pan if you have that one. But this is the 8 by 8. Then I'm going to put it in the oven and I'll be back. Okay, I poured it in there. So now we're going to top it with the cheese. And this bakes in the oven for 30 minutes. So once we get it with the cheese, then we're going to come back in 30 minutes and it should be ready. Okay, guys, it's been 30 minutes. The squash casserole is now done. So I'm going to cut into it. And I like to remind the people who don't like squash or think it's nasty that this tastes kind of like a dressing or somewhat like a macaroni and cheese, but it's really good. So we're going to cut into it. It's real cheesy. Let me get my spoon. Let me get a fork to dip that out with. But it's really, really good. Okay, so that's our squash casserole. And thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.